Brexit's Brexit row erupts over control of Gibraltar's border. What's going on, David? Well, tomorrow there's a big showdown in Parliament with the European Scrutiny Committee, chaired by Sir Bill Cash and Lord Cameron, the Foreign Secretary. And really, it's, it's all about uh, the future of Gibraltar uh, and the, a, a genuine fear that uh, we're about to hand over sovereignty to or part of the sovereignty of Gibraltar to the uh, European Union or even the Spanish, potentially. Uh, if, if the two can be separated even. So it's, uh, you know, the, the effects of this treaty could mean that Brits could be blocked from going on to British sovereign territory, travelling from Britain, you know, not even going through the European Union. And it, it's uh, uh, because you'd have a European Union Frontex border guards potentially uh, guarding the airport uh, Gibraltar with the added complication that the airport in Gibraltar is actually an RAF base. So, it's, uh, you know, we're effectively potentially handing over part of our military assets to a foreign power. But it's, it's a dreadful, dreadful mess, um, which, you know, it, there's going to be a bit of a row tomorrow, and it's, uh, it's going to be interesting watching. Well, indeed, and I think it's possible that Gibraltar could become part of the Schengen area. It is a disaster. Yeah. A car crash in slow motion. Um, do you think that the government can rescue this situation? Can they can they av avert disaster? Well they, well, they could, actually, but they just need to dig their heels in. Uh, and the, the trouble is that the, the scepticism about this is, comes from Northern Ireland, mm. where the government singularly failed to dig their heels in uh, and went with the European Union's preferred option. And... You know, it looks like the same could happen with uh, Gibraltar, largely because the Gibraltar, uh, the Gibraltans themselves, I think, would like to be in Schengen because it'd be useful for them for goods for free travel. Uh, and there's there's a real there's some really competing interests. But uh, as one MP was saying to me uh, just just earlier, you know, in the end, Gibraltar is a military base. It's a British military base. That's its purpose. There's no other sovereignty on Gibraltar just that it's a British military base. And really, the government uh, has got to dig in on this and, uh, and, not, and not hand over control, potentially, of an important military asset to the European Union. But Most you know, from the other perspective, I'm afraid, you know, from the independent perspective, uh, you know, this is, it was an inevitable problem of, of Brexit, I'm afraid, which were, you know, along with Northern Ireland. Uh, the execution of which has been a botch job. Uh, let's bring my pundits in, if we can. Former UKIP leader Henry Bolton, broadcaster and journalist Emma Webb, and political consultant Emma Burnell. Uh, Henry, would you uh, like to sort of chip in on this one? You're a, a long-standing Brexiteer. Are you shocked by what's happening in Gibraltar? I'm shocked at the position of David Cameron, if indeed these, these rumours are true. And there's been, they've been so persistent that I can't believe that there is not something in them. If the Foreign Secretary is about to sign over a, a degree of sovereignty of Gibraltar to Spain or the European Union or both then I think it is nothing much short of treasonous. Mm. And the idea, and, and David quite rightly says, of course, for the Gibraltarians as a, uh, who had a referendum on this matter, actually, I think it was in 2002, they had a 100% turnout and 98.1, I think, voted mm. against the concept or the principle of shared sovereignty. But if they, I can understand that from pract for practical purposes, they might want to uh, uh, be part of the Schengen or have some arrangement. Look. There is, I held the portfolio for civilian border management for the European Union for three years in Brussels for the European Commission. And I can tell you from direct authority, from having held that position, that if the EU wants to uh, make a bespoke arrangement for Gibraltar of that sort, it can do so. There is no if and no but. And for the British government to roll over and die because the EU makes certain demands is a uh, it would be an appalling abrogation of its duties towards Gibraltar, the Gibraltarians, and I think Great Britain, given, the, as David quite rightly points out, the military implications of this, particularly what's going on at the other end of the Mediterranean and the importance of Gibraltar in that, re that respect. And if you do it with Gibraltar, where are you going with the Falklands? Where are you going with the sovereign basis on, on Cyprus? This is David Cameron at his very worst. OK, um, can I ask you...